Hi, Bob the Canadian here. Let's learn English on the road. To make sure I don't get run over. <laughs> Hey, Bob the Canadian here. Welcome to this video about roads, uh, streets, and highways. Uh, if this is your first time here, don't forget to click the subscribe button below and the small bell icon uh, so that you can be notified when I upload videos. Give me a thumbs up if this video is helping you learn English. And don't forget to scroll down uh, into the description to look for free bonus material to help you practice the English that we're going over in this video. Well, hey, welcome to this video. We're going to talk a little bit about roads, streets, and highways today, and some of the things that you will find beside them. This road here uh, is a paved road. That means the surface of the road is hard, uh, and that means that cars can go a lot faster, uh, and it's just easier to drive on. And this part right here is called the shoulder of the road. So when you pull off the road, you can go onto the shoulder of the road. This part over here, it's kind of a little hard to see, uh, is called the ditch. Uh, and the ditch is where when it rains, all the water would run off the road into the ditch to keep the road nice and dry. The road behind me is what we would call a gravel road or a dirt road. Um, a paved road, like we saw, has a hard surface. A gravel road has um, all of these little stones. I'll hold them up to the camera. So there's a couple ways that you'll know that you need to stop when you get to the end of a street or road. Behind me, you'll see a stop sign. This is a red sign with the word stop in it. And it has eight sides. It's an octagon. So a stop sign is one of the ways that you know that you need to stop your car. So the intersection behind me here uh, is called a four-way stop or an all-way stop. If you can see under the stop sign here, it says all-way. Um, what that means is that whoever stops first at the intersection gets to go next. So everyone needs to take turns going through this intersection. So another way you'll know when to stop is when you see a stoplight or a traffic signal. So behind me is an intersection where two roads cross. And up here you can see that the light just turned red. Red lights mean stop and green lights mean go. You can also see right here, these white lines are what's called a crosswalk. This is where if you push the button on the pole over there, there's a pole, uh, and you wait, then eventually it tells you uh, this little hand here will turn to a person and you can walk. Uh, we have a little sign here. How's it going? So I'm at a railway crossing right now, and if you notice right here, there's a railway crossing light. When that light comes on, it means there's a train coming. I think I'm just in time to see this. Uh, let's watch the train go by. Here it comes. So that's why when that light's going, you should not cross the railroad track. So we looked at stop signs, which tell you that you need to stop but sometimes you wanna know how fast you can go. On the sides of the road, you will see speed limit signs, which tell you how fast you can drive your vehicle. This is a speed limit sign from a city or town, and it says you can do 50 kilometers an hour maximum. This is a speed limit sign from out in the country. It says you can do 80 kilometers an hour max, and if you go any faster, you might get a ticket. So I'm gonna let you guess what this sign means, and you can post it in the comments below. I'm not gonna give you any hints, but if you think you know, post it below. So sometimes along the side of the road, uh, they wanna protect things. So they put up what's called a guardrail. A guardrail stops vehicles from going off the road if they lose control. So let's say the road was really icy and slippery 
and if you lost control, you would hit the guardrail first instead of that pole that they're trying to protect. So this is a guardrail. So I'm gonna walk through the ditch here. If you remember, uh, the ditch is the part on the side of the road that uh, the water can go into, but we're gonna kinda jump across the ditch here because I wanna show you this pole. So in Canada, we call these hydro poles. Let me lean back for you. You can see the hydro wires. In the United States, they're called utility poles or telephone poles. And the lines at the top are usually called power lines. Hopefully I don't get my shoe wet uh, when I go through the ditch this time. Let's see how it goes. I think I'm gonna make it. So behind me here, you'll see a street, a city street. And what makes a street a little bit different than a road is that you will usually find a sidewalk. This is a place for pedestrians to walk. Pedestrians are people who are walking along the sidewalk. Sometimes you'll even find a bike lane. If you look down here, you'll see the shape of a bike. Um, because on this road, there's a special lane just for people who are biking. And one of the main differences is that in the city, you're going to always find... I always have trouble pointing. You're always going to find street lights. So right here, we have a nice street light. And there's a few of them all along this road. There's another one right here. Um, so this street is well lit at night. You noticed I just called it a road. I think that's because I live in the country uh, and it's easier to refer to this that way. But this is a street. It's definitely a street. It is a city street. Sidewalk, bike lane, street lights. So behind me you can see the highway. This is a six lane highway. It has three lanes going in either direction. If you look over here, it's a little hard to see, but you can see the off-ramp. The off-ramp is what allows traffic to get off the highway. And if you look over here, you can just sort of see the on-ramp. The on-ramp is where you can speed up to get on the highway. I'm standing on what we would call an overpass. An overpass is uh, the road or street that goes over top of a highway. And below me, the cars are going under through the underpass. It's a lot of traffic. Well, hey, thanks for watching this video about roads, streets, highways, and the things that you sometimes find along them. Bob the Canadian here, learn English with Bob the Canadian. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button below and the bell icon. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please share it with anyone that you know who is learning English and be sure to check out the bonus material in the description. Bob the Canadian here. Hope you're having a good day and I hope you have a good week. See you in the next video.